in the middle of my front squat set. Front squats are one of our exercises for this month. And some things I want you to think about when you're front squatting. The first one is bracing your core before you drop into the squat. So I like to think about if I'm gonna get punched in the stomach, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna be like, like get really nice and tight. And then we wanna keep our chest up. We wanna be driving our knees out as we drop into the squat. And we wanna be shooting to be parallel or just below parallel, okay? We don't need to be getting really, really low with these. So let me show you a couple more examples. Brace the core. And if you're someone who struggles with ankle mobility, as I definitely do, one thing I like to do is get something, something to elevate my heels a little bit. So I'll often use these sliders uh, or a yoga mat or some plates, something that allows me to just get my heels up a little bit. And then it's a lot easier for me to get low when I'm squatting. You guys ready for your hip thrusts? Points of emphasis on hip thrusts. You're gonna to wanna to have a box or a bench, something that can hit you at about uh, where, if you're wearing a sports bra, where your sports bra would be or right underneath your shoulder blades. Chin should be down when you come up. You want your shins to be vertical. You don't wanna hyper extend at the top of the lift. Uh, but you do want to squeeze your glutes as you're coming up and especially at the top. Let's hip thrust. So at the top here, I'm squeezing my glutes. And if I were to hyper extend, it would look like this. So we don't want that. We want this. Strict press, one of the easiest, hardest exercises. So with the strict press, things we want to think about are feet hip distance apart, having a soft bend in the knees, having a neutral spine so you don't want to be like sticking your butt out. Uh, and then when we press up, we want to make sure our arms are going straight up, that we're not out or doing anything all cattywampus. Uh, and our elbows are, are shooting to be in line with our ears, okay? So if we don't have good range of mobility and our arms are coming forward, that's something that we can work on. Uh, but otherwise, you want to be coming straight up to full range of motion. Single arm dumbbell row. You want a bench, a dumbbell, and your body. Get yourself in a nice athletic stance. So really tripod this leg out so you're super stable. Your other hand is on the bench. And then you wanna be bracing your core throughout this whole exercise. So again, thinking about, if you were to get punched in the gut, what would you be doing? Brace the core. And then you wanna drop or lower the dumbbell to full range of motion, and then pull it up as if it's coming to your hip.
And we want to just try to keep our upper body as still as possible and not be wiggling around a whole lot. Enjoy this one. All right, the good old pallet press with a band, feet hip distance apart, made a little bit wider, pulling it out and then fighting that resistance coming back. That's the pallet press with rotation. And then the next one is the marching pallet press. This one's hard. So the uh, first progression is having the band in close and you're just gonna march. This is really good for hip instability or low back issues. And then once you feel good there, bring it out. And you're really fighting to keep that band taut and to not turn in.